Hello everyone, I'm back and I have another review for you. It's from Shea Moisture, blah, 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 blah. You already get the drill, okay? And I don't know if you guys had heard, but um, same-sex marriage is now legal in all 50 states. So be ready for the social media websites to be blowing up like crazy. But anyway, that's for a different subject. But now I have a product review for you. This is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Problem Skin Toner. This is for blemished oily skin or people who have acne, stuff like that. I picked this up from Ulta Beauty. It, it was actually part of the um, buy one, get one 50% off sale. It was with the um, my previous review, which was the African Black Soap Facial Mask. This product was bought along with it, but I believe this product was purchased at its original price of $9.99 plus tax. And so it wasn't the one who got reduced by the by um, the 50% discount. It was the other product, which was a facial mask. But anyway, I found this at Ulta Beauty for $9.99 plus tax. It can also be found at Target, I believe, for the same price. I'll put the price in the description below. But I picked this up specifically because I haven't used a toner in a while and I've been sneaking to use my mother's toner. So I looked up some information and... I saw Witch Hazel, but I thought I'd try that later. So I decided to go to my favorite brand, which is, of course, Shea Moisture. And I noticed that they have a toner in the African Black Soap facial line. So I thought I'd give this a shot. As you can see, this is what the label itself looks like. And no know if it's the camera's picking it up, but I'm nearly down to maybe two-thirds of the bottle left. It's enough here. So I ended up picking this up so I can try it on my skin. To pretty much keep this kind of short about the toner, it's an okay toner. I mean, it's not something groundbreaking for my skin or anything. In fact, it does a pretty good job in keeping my skin refreshed and whatnot, but in terms of getting rid of excess oil and refining my skin, I don't notice that much of a difference. Really, I don't. In fact, usually the last toner that I end up sneaking was the Murad Murad Acne Clearing Toner, something around that. I don't even remember the exact name, but I know it was from Murad. That stuff, when you wiped it on your face, you could see the dirt that was pulled off. And plus, it had this huge, refreshing menthol peppermint kind of feel to your face. So your whole face just felt tingly. With this stuff here, well, you don't get the tingly feeling, and that's expected. I mean, I'm not complaining about that or dogging that at all. But. In terms of pulling out deep, deep dirt that's like clogged within your skin pores and whatnot, I feel like this toner didn't really do that much to my skin. I mean, it refreshed it and everything. It even got rid of some of the excess oil that my soap probably did pick up or whatnot. But it didn't really just do much. I mean, it's a good toner and it, and it might work for other people. But for my skin, no, not really. It was This toner was pretty average. Now the only my one con about that about this whole thing is the packaging. Okay, as you can see, this whoops. I don't want to, well, there we go. Sorry about that. I didn't want to spill it all over the all over the paper. But as you can see, it has a spray. I don't like using the spray because the last time that I tried to use the spray to spritz a cotton ball or whatnot, it didn't get on the. It didn't get a lot on the cotton ball, even when I kept pressing down. So I've simply resorted to just, you know, opening the bottle, opening the bottle, and then using, and then just holding down the cotton ball on the opening, and then just, you know, tipping it like this. So I can get something, I can get some amount on there. But I don't like the packaging, and I think the packaging should be changed a bit. I don't think there should be a spray packaging. But that's just my opinion. Other people might like that or whatnot, but that's that's their opinion. I don't particularly agree with the spray bottle packaging, if you understand what I'm talking about. But all in all, this is a good toner. I will probably not purchase this again because, like I said, I don't feel that much of a difference in it working into my skin or whatnot. Or even getting rid of some of the excess dirt, oil, or even further refining my skin. It's a decent toner, but it's not groundbreaking. So don't, unless you have severely bad skin, don't expect anything groundbreaking with this stuff. Just, but you, you're free to try it if you wish. I, 
I wouldn't say expect anything groundbreaking. Expect this to be a really good plain old toner with African black soap and whatnot in it. But that's pretty much my review on it. Out of five stars, I give it a three. I pretty much give it a three. And like I said, you can find this at Target and at Ulta Beauty for $9.99. I think, I think the price is the same over there. You're welcome to actually get it on certain sales. This could be BOGO 50% maybe something that involves the target red card whatever the sale might be but that's my opinion on it if you have tried this product before leave your things in the comments below feel free to leave a like on the video if you like my review and feel free to share it on google plus or any other social media website if you can it's greatly appreciated more will be coming soon coming soon as soon as i'm done doing other business here but that's my review on this product and i will see you later